What's up Revivalists, how's it going? It's Simon here from CD Revival and today I'm just going to do a little update video with uh, some CD collection stuff. So uh, I've done like my last ranking was Kiss and I've done like an Iron Maiden um, CD collection video and so now I'm going to go through like a few I's that I've got left, not too many of those. Uh, some J's, not too many of those either and the remaining K's. Um, so that brings us pretty much up to date with uh, where I'm up to. Um, next ranking will be Led Zeppelin, um, which I completely forgot about. Um, so I'll be ranking all their studio albums next. Um, so that should be like towards the weekend um, when I get that done. So looking forward to that, really good band. Um, so make sure you like and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. Um, so yeah, we'll just go through a few bits and pieces what I've got. Uh, starting off with the eyes, so there's a bit of a random selection going on now. Uh, first one is a Billy Idol CD, which is uh, like a greatest hits. Uh, Idol songs, this one's called. Uh, got this one from a charity shop. Do quite like Billy Idol. Um, I had his Vital Idol album on vinyl years ago. That's a bit of a mouthful, to be honest with you. Um, this one, yeah, just the greatest hits, basically. So you've got your Rebel Yells, your White Wedding. Hot in the City, things like that. Um, to Be A Lover, which I did quite enjoy. Flesh of Fantasy, Don't Need A Gun. Some good stuff. He's still going to this day. His new stuff's not particularly fantastic, but, you know, he's still out there doing it. Um, and saw him, uh, never seen him, like, fully live before, but um, he did come on when uh, Motley Crue were playing when I saw them, and they did Joe House Rock at the end as an encore. So that was pretty cool. So that's, yeah, Billy Idol, Idol songs, the only one of his I've got, probably the only one you really need. He's done a few good albums, but, you know, there we go. Uh, Insane Clown Posse, the great Malenko, picked this one up years ago. Uh, yeah, all right, you know, they're not the greatest album. Uh, they're not the greatest band either, and it's not the greatest album, but it's okay. Um, no more to say about that, really, than yeah, it's the Insane Clown Posse clown posse the album they were afraid to let you hear the great malenko anyway it's okay does what it kind of says uh if you from incubus um charity shop specials incubus this one um is uh make yourself what ones this i've got on it i've not heard loads of this stuff stella is a really cool track that's probably the one that i know really well this one comes with a bonus disc as well there's some acoustic stuff on it um so yeah not a bad band i think they've changed their style a little bit over the years and that's make yourself and i also picked up this one for a pound which is uh the three album classics the album classic series you can get there's, i've got a few of those actually with different bands um they come in like a sort of album style sleeve um and this one's got three CDs in it, which I thought was well worth the pound that I paid. So this has got Enjoy Incubus, Morning View, and A Crow Left of the Murder. Um, so that's that one there. If you're a fan of them, that's uh, worth picking up. <clears throat> and then the last of the eyes are stuff that I've inherited from my brother. So I've got like some inflamed stuff, which once again, I'm not overly familiar with, not, just not really any familiar with any of my stuff, really. Um, but yeah, inflames, horacle, huracle, however it's pronounced. <clears throat> so that's that one there. Uh, this one is the Tokyo Showdown, live in Japan, 2000. That's that one there. And we have got also, uh, this one's called Colony. Decides to come out. <clears throat> and uh, the Jester Race slash Black Ash Inheritance. So not really checked any of these out. Let me know which ones I should check out first, if any. That's it for I. So that's I done. So we go on to J. We've got a bit of a random selection here as well. Uh, this one, music from the motion picture of Judgment Night. Remember when this came out? Got this around about that time. 
Um, some cool collaborations. So it's basically just like collaborations of hip hop artists with metal artists. So you've got like Helmet and House of Pain doing Just Another Victim, which is a cool track. Uh, Living Color and Run DMC doing Me, Myself, My Microphone. Biohazard and Oz Onyx doing the title track Judgment Night. Uh, Slayer and Ice-T doing Disorder, which is probably the most famous one. Uh, Faith No More and Booyah Tribe, another body murdered. That's pretty cool. Uh, you've got Sonic Youth and Cypress Hill, Mud Honey, so mix a lot, Teenage Flank, Fan Club, and De La Soul, Therapy and Fatal, Pearl Jam and Cypress Hill, and Dinosaur Jr. and Del the Funky Homo Sapien. Um, but yeah, cool album. Um, say from the, the movie soundtrack, Judgment Night. And uh, yeah, got some good bits on there if you like that sort of like crossover style. Well worth a listen. Do enjoy that one. I've always listened to that. Enjoyed it. Uh, Blast by Holly Johnson was once the singer of Frankie Goes to Hollywood. This is his first solo album. Not too much to write home about. It's got a couple of decent ones on it. Love Train and Americanos was the uh, famous track as well. Um, but yeah, once again, picked it up cheap. It's worth having. So that's that one. Uh, this one is The Jam uh, from the early 80s, late 70s. British band with obviously Paul Weller. This is Compact Snap, so it's pretty much the greatest hits once again, the singles, etc. Um, so that's worth having. Um, you know, I enjoy the jam, never a massive, massive fan, but, you know, appreciate what they did. And it's good to have, like, the, you know, all the hits, you know, it's good to have a greatest hits album here and there, with bands that you kind of like, but, you know, don't really want their whole discography, so that's well worth that. Uh, a couple of bits from Jamiroquai, uh, Canned Heat single, CD single of that one. Um, that's got Deeper Underground on it as well. Um, but yeah, Jamiroquai, don't mind some of his stuff. Uh, Return of the Space Cowboy as well. That's the album for that one. Um, so that's not bad. Yeah, I do quite enjoy some of his stuff. Uh, a few Jackson ones, Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation, got that in a charity shop and, uh, you know, picked that up on a weakness, but yeah, not too bad. Don't really listen to it, to be honest with you, but, um, cheap. Uh, Michael Jackson, everyone's got a bit of Michael Jackson, so I've got his famous albums, basically, so Off the Wall, which is decent, so that was before he went too weird, um, so that one's pretty cool. Uh, obviously Thriller, which I remember having on tape when I was like, I don't know, 12 or something. Um, but yeah, obviously, you know, famous album, um, decent. And uh, Bad, which is when he started to go a little bit strange in a way. Um, but still, you know, not a bad listen, quite enjoyable. Um, some good tracks on there as well. Um, and The Last of the Jays is a band that I do really like. Uh, and that is Jane's Addiction. Uh, so their first album, Nothing Shocking. Um, I remember getting this on vinyl. I went to Kerrang! used to like rave. You know, I used to, everyone, if you were into metal and stuff, you'd listen, read Kerrang! And, um, you know, they'd have their, their bands that they would rave over. And they raved over this album. I remember going down to the Shades record shop in uh, St. Anne's Court in London. If you, once again, if you live in London and you're of a certain age, you'll remember Shades record shop. Uh, and you go down there and it's like, can you put this on for me? They played it and I was sort of bought it straight away. I had the vinyl one with like the rubber sleeve and everything, which I still wish, wish I still had because I think that's like worth like 100 quid or something nowadays. Um, but I've got the CD and yeah, it's an amazing album. Um, up the Beach to start off with Ocean Size. It's just a crushing killer track. Uh, Ted just admit it's a great track. I really enjoy that one as well. Summertime Rolls is really chilled out and mellow. Uh, Mountain Song's probably one of the most famous ones on here. Um, and this one's got Pigs in Zen on it as well at the end, which was not on the uh, the vinyl version. Um, but yeah, good album. Jane's Addiction, their first one, nothing shocking. Superb. Uh, I've got their second album, Ritual de Low Habitual, which I think is their crowning glory or something. Um, but yeah, definitely their best album. Um, absolute masterpiece this one for me um, the old what they were called like side two with three days which is probably their best track 
uh, than she did, of course, and Classic Girl, all amazing. The side two of this is just amazing. Um, then the side one's got more sort of punchy sort of tracks like Stop, uh, No One's Leaving, and obviously uh, Been Caught Stealing, which is their most famous track. But um, yeah, got a lot of time for this album, man. This album absolutely rules. It's just so, so good. Um, yeah, really, really cool album. I think they split up for a while after that. I think Dave Navarro did obviously his album with the Chili Peppers, which I do like as well. Uh, and then they reformed and done some bits. Strays is the only other one I've got of theirs. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a decent album once again. Not quite up to the level of their first two. Um, but yeah, still really cool album. Um, yeah, it's got some good stuff on it, um, which I yeah, do like it. Um, but yeah, not as good as their first two, but still well worth a go. Uh, right, so now we're into K. Uh, we'll start off with uh, the Kill Bill soundtrack. Got a few soundtracks, most of the Tarantino ones, to be honest with you. I think he puts together quite a decent soundtrack album uh, or soundtracks to his movies. Uh, so that's the first Kill Bill one. Um, I've got the album Alto Barn by Kraftwerk. Um, do enjoy craft work. I like quite a lot of electronic stuff as well. Um, this one's obviously a classic, um, and it's got the, the original, obviously, 22 minute uh, title track on there. Um, but yeah, really cool, you know, chilled out German electronic, just a yeah, great album. Um, some Lenny Kravitz stuff, which I think can be, you know, an acquired taste, but I do like his stuff. I remember I bought this one on vinyl when it first came out. The title track, Let Love Rule, the MTV played it a lot um, at the time. And um, so, yeah, bought the album and uh, listened to it a lot. So, yeah, the, the title track's awesome. Sitting on Top of the World's awesome. Um, yeah, got some really good, good tracks on this one. Um, really cool sort of retro at the time style. Um, so, yeah, his first album when he was kind of a bit unknown. Uh, then Mama Said, which was the second album, that's really cool as well, got some good stuff on it. Um, Always on the Run, for example, yeah, it's got Slash on there, uh, doing the guitar. Fields of Joy is a really cool track, it's got a lot of really good stuff on this one as well, so um, a really cool album. <clears throat> um, so yeah, and I think this is his third one, Are You Gonna Go My Way? But yeah, I've got time for Kravitz, man. He does. I think he's a good, good musician. Does some good songs. Um, obviously, are you going to go my way? Is the the most famous track on here. <clears throat> but not not a bad album. Not as good as the first two, but still pretty cool. And then I've got this one as well, uh, which is just called Five, which I'm guessing is his fifth album. <clears throat> not really checked this one out too much, to be honest with you. Um, it's got Fly Away on it, which is the famous track, Black Velveteen as well. <coughs> still still pretty cool. Um, corn stuff. Um, not a massive fan of a lot of new metal stuff, but Corn I did used to quite like. Um, so first album, which is probably their best album, I would say. Um, and there's a, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. If you know them, you know this. Obviously Blind, etc. Um, so yeah, that's the first album, which is a classic. Uh, Life is Peachy, which is their second album, um, which has got some good stuff on it, but yeah, nowhere near as good as their first one. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's their second album. Uh, then I've got uh, Follow the Leader, which is, uh, yeah, got the life, etc. Obviously famous video for that one. Um, Limp Biscuit guest on a track on this one as well, All in the Family, that's it. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's an alright album, they started to sort of change a bit on this one, but still pretty cool. Um, and then Issues came out, and people really like this one. I remember when this came out, I think I bought it on day of release because I was well into them at the time. And um, yeah, I didn't really like it. And I haven't listened to it too much since then, I remember buying it thinking yeah i don't really like it and um never really listened to it too much after that really 
um, which was always, you know, back in the day when you had to buy music rather than stream it or watch it on YouTube and stuff. You didn't really know what you were getting until you got it. And sometimes it was good and sometimes you didn't really like it and you were like, well, oh, I paid 12 quid for this or whatever. And this was one of those. So, yeah, maybe I'll re, uh, re listen to this at some point. Maybe with uh, age, it's improved. But, um, so, yeah, that's that one. Uh, Untouchables. Kind of had lost interest in them by this time. I think I picked this one up fairly cheap well after the event. And um, also I was given this one. Take a look in the mirror. A buddy of mine had two copies of this, so he, you know, kindly donated this one for the collection. Do I know any of the stuff off of it? Yeah, you all want a single. I do, I have heard that. Um, but yeah, you know, they do what they do. I did listen to one of their albums a couple of years ago, actually. I can't even remember which one, but it was half decent. But yeah, sort of lost interest in Corn a bit, to be honest with you. Uh, a couple from Kid Rock. Uh, this one, The History of Rock. Um, a bit of a compilation, this one, if I remember rightly. So it's got American Badass on it, which was the theme for The Undertaker at one point. Um, it's all right. It's not too bad. And Rock and Roll Jesus which is where he started to go a bit sort of southern rock then it's where he started to go a bit but this one definitely is like that it's got all summer long on it um once again it's okay he's uh, you know he does what he does if you like it then it's okay but i think i got that from a charity shop quite recently uh, a couple from the band kingdom come who i have got time for even though they're a bit of a zeppelin ripoff band well influenced band should i say uh so first album yeah really good Obviously, Get It On was the massive single, um, very Kashmir-esque in a way. Obviously, the guy, Lenny Wolf, he sounds very much like Robert Plant. Um, but yeah, an enjoyable album, really cool. But yeah, they, they definitely wear their Zeppelin influences on their sleeves, especially on this album. And their second album, In Your Face, which is another really good one. Used to have this on vinyl as well. Um, do you like it was the single uh, perfect toe is a really cool track overrated it's a good one um, but yeah decent decent band they've done quite a few albums i say i've only got their first two um, probably all you need really let me know if you think otherwise uh kill switch engage um i think they're okay not too bad um nothing much more to say about that one they're you know a band <clears throat> uh this is a kerrang one I used to get like yeah uh free cds with kerrang this is a 1998 one 18 top tunes um so yeah uh well into the new metal sort of style well there so you've got corn got the life limp biscuit counterfeit which is probably one of their best tracks uh, Black Crows are on here, kicking my heart around. That's a cool track. It's got a bit of Peace by Slayer, Bleed by Soulfly, and um, yeah, a few other bits. Um, it's probably the best of it, to be honest with you. So yeah, there's that. Uh, a couple by the band King's X. So I haven't got their first album, which is out of the Silent Planet, but I've got the uh, Gretchen, the Ghost of Nebraska, which is their second album which features the track out of the silent planet randomly. This one's broke. Really must get round to sort of changing. I've got a bunch of like spare jewel cases as well. Um, but yeah, really cool. Over my head, amazing track, Summerland. It's, yeah, there's loads of really cool stuff on here. A really sort of underrated band, really. Um, uh, just a three piece band, obviously. Um, just guitar, bass and drums. <clears throat> this one's like an, an awesome album. Yeah, really good. Just They've got that kind of Beatles melodies and harmonies going on, but with really like crunchy, just heavy guitars, man. Um, so yeah, Gretchen goes to go, oh, I can't even say it. Gretchen goes to Nebraska, second album, really, really cool. Uh, and their third album, Faith, Hope, Love. Remember when this came out? <clears throat> um, this is another really, really cool album. Similar vein to the second one, probably a bit more, I don't know. I don't know, it's a bit more, uh, slightly longer tracks, a bit more involved, I think, maybe. A lot of really cool stuff on here. 
It's Love was the single. Um, Fine Art Friendship's really cool. Title track is like a nine minute song, it's really cool. Um, but yeah, some really good stuff on that one as well. Well worth a listen, well worth a listen to the band in general. They say I've only got two of their albums, I know they have done more. Uh, Sermons of the Sinner by KK's Priest. Obviously, it's KK Downing, Tim Ripper Owens. Um, yeah, really awesome album, this one. Um, Priest-esque. Um, don't know who the other guys are. Probably share my ignorance there. Tony Newton, AJ Mills, Stan Eli on drums. Um, but yeah, uh, very Priest-esque. Tim Ripper Owens, obviously, excellent vocalist. Um, and if you like Judas Priest, uh, then you'd be, you know, doing yourself a disservice by not checking this album out because it is uh, really, really cool, really heavy. Um, Ripper sings amazingly. The guitar works amazing. It's just a real great, you know, old school but new metal album. Uh, I think it came out in 2021, maybe. Yeah, 2021. Uh, yeah, well worth checking out. Sermons of the Sinner by KK's Priest. Else we've got Caius, Blues for the Red Sun. Um, probably not their best album, to be honest with you, but not bad. It's obviously Josh on before he uh, became Queens of the Stone Age. Um, but yeah, pretty decent album. Um, I have a few from Kanye West, which is a you know a polarizing figure. Uh, so late registration. I think it's his first album. Could be wrong, but um, yeah, decent. Got some good stuff on there. Uh, things like Touch the Sky, Gold Digger, etc. This could be his first album as well. Actually, I'm not even sure. Oh yeah, this is his first album. It's got Through the Wire on it. Uh, so the college dropout, but yeah, I got you know. I think he's one of the better. I'm not a massive fan of like the newer hip hop like artists, but I think at least he does something a little bit different. You know, he comes across as a complete dick, but it's like you know who doesn't sometimes. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then this one, which is the third album, Graduation. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, that's got some good stuff on there as well. It's probably the best of the three actually. It's got like whatever it's called, harder, better, faster, stronger, etc. Um, so yeah, a bit of Kanye. Yeah, definitely got time for him. Um, so that's that one there. And uh, not too much more now. Uh, Curb Dog. First couple of albums from them. So that what the self-titled and on the turn. Um, yeah, they were, they were pretty cool back in the day. On the turn, I've not heard so much. The first one is pretty decent. Um, but yeah, um, a decent band to be honest with you. And lastly, one from King Diamond, which is the Spider's Lullaby. Obviously a decent album. Um, King Diamond doing what he does. Um, it's just, yeah, decent metal. 1995 this one came out um, could do again some more of his stuff to be honest with you but it's all kind of quite pricey these days like so many bands it's like you know there's a yeah if you collect cds they, they a lot of the time you can get cds really really cheaply and that's you know nice and good because you can build up quite a decent collection quite quickly um, but sometimes yeah a lot of the stuff that you really want it's like oh all right yeah you're paying like big big money for quite a lot of it and king diamond seems to be one of those his catalog seems to be on the pricier end definitely so uh yeah a bit of a rarity uh cool so that's um i j and k done dusted um so yeah we'll be on to l next um uh, which i say i've got some good stuff in there and i'll be doing my led zeppelin ranking next so so as you say make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you'll uh, pick that one up so that'll be an interesting one great band obviously great discography not a massive discography but um yeah they've done some great albums uh, and then we'll be on to m when there's a million bands that you know i'll be doing rankings for so there was as you say metallica megadeth uh marilyn manson motorhead um just off the top of my head those so motley crew 
Um, so yeah, a lot of stuff to look forward to on the channel, if you like the channel, that is. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I really appreciate everyone that watches my stuff. Um, say when I get the, the comments that you know that people have looked forward to watching my videos and stuff, it's just amazing, man. It makes me feel great. So and you know, makes me want to continue doing it. So um, yeah, yeah, definitely keep the comments coming because um, it does mean a massive, massive amount to me. And I uh, really appreciate everyone that takes the time to to watch and to you know to actually uh, participate in the the conversation as well. So um yeah really massive thanks to everyone that does that and um uh yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and i will uh catch you all next time take it steady thanks very much